Guys, everybody online is talking about a hot new crypto project that just hit the scene called WorldCoin. That's doubled in price since the first few hours of trading. This project aims to solve a massive problem that's plagued the crypto space for a very long time. But among all the hype, there's also a lot of pushback and confrontation because this project could have a pretty dark and dystopian outlook for the future. And I want to tell you everything you know in this video today, you know, as a blockchain developer myself, we're six technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, Hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master, step-by-step start step to finish, break into the blockchain industry, I can show you how to do that over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about WorldCoin. You know, what is it? Why is everybody fighting about this project? Well, I actually talked about WorldCoin a couple of years ago on my channel when it was first announced. And since then, it's being developed behind the scenes. It just launched this week. It went up 2x in price within the first few hours of trading. And one of the big reasons for this, some of the reasons behind the hype of the coin is it's created by Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, which creates ChatGPT. Okay, so uh, if you, in case you've been living under a rock over the past year or so, you know, AI has undergone an absolute explosion and anything associated with AI is getting a ton of traction right now. And so, yeah, this project is created by the CEO, ChatGPT, basically. It's going to raise some eyebrows. Now, that being said, the project itself doesn't really have anything to do with AI, at least in the technical implementation. So let's dig into the details. What does WorldCoin actually do? All right, so the end goal of the project is to actually create a universal basic income, or UBI, okay? So why does it want to do that in the first place? Well, the whole idea is that basically, you know, they're creating a lot of artificial intelligence technology. And the, and the thought is, you know, as you create more AI, it's going to, you know, displace people's jobs. And therefore, there's going to be a need at some point to have a universal basic income because there will be roles that humans won't fill. And they need some way to distribute that. And their whole idea is to use blockchain technology for universal basic income. Now, there's one big problem with that. If you just had like a crypto wallet and you were trying to be like an airdrop hunter and like farm all these different airdrops, you could totally game the system and get way more money than you were entitled to. So in order to plug that hole, they want to create a way to prove that you are human so that you can claim your blockchain based universal basic income. And that's where the big controversy comes in is how WorldCoin plans to implement uh, decentralized identity, basically. Okay, so I've been talking about decentralized identity management or DIM. I actually coined that term on this channel for quite some time. This has so many use cases in blockchain besides just universal basic income, because think about it. You know, with blockchains, everything is pretty much anonymous or pseudonymous, depending on how you want to think about it. When you're using a blockchain, you have a key pair, you know, a public key and a private key, or I guess your address in this case, that everybody can see. And that address really is just your identity on chain, but it doesn't really have any more information than just like, you know, what's your location on the blockchain. And you need a lot more than that to build, you know, robust applications. Like what if you wanted to own real estate on a blockchain and prove that you are who you are, prove your actual identity for like licensure, for like a passport maybe, or even like a credit credit score. You need something way more sophisticated than just a blockchain address. And that's the piece that WorldCoin is trying to solve in this case to claim universal basic income. And so that's where the big controversy is. So what is it? Well, basically, they have created a protocol called proof of personhood or POP, which basically is a way to prove that you are a unique human so that you can, I guess, at the end of the day, claim your universal basic income. But how they do it is basically they have this giant orb device that just scans your eyeball. And then that scan gets turned into a a biometric hash that represents your iris and your eyeball. And then that hash basically gets uploaded to a centralized database. <laughs> now, that's exactly where people are up in arms because this has you know, massive, massive red flags written all over it. And I've got a lot of original thoughts on this myself, but I wanted to pull out the blog post here from uh, Vitalik Buterin himself, you know, the mastermind behind Ethereum, who actually published a blog post about WorldCoin on the day of its launch, outlining some of these concerns, and I want to talk about them in depth. So let's break down some of those concerns step by step. So number one is privacy. Okay, so I think the intent here, whenever you scan your eyeball with this orb, is that whenever you generate this hash that gets stored somewhere else, is that that hash would be completely anonymous, like there wouldn't be an actual way to tie it back to who, to who you are. You'd just be proving that you are a unique human that's different from somebody else, okay? But there actually is a massive privacy risk with this because the registry of iris scans may 
actually reveal information that they don't intend to. So if you scan your iris and they tell you it's completely anonymous, but then it's stored in a centralized database and it actually does contain biometric information that could tie it back to who you are, like know your name, address, social security number, everything, then that's a massive problem because this information is going to live in a centralized database. It's going to be a massive honeypot for hackers. And if hackers get a hold of it, then they could find your information, find out everything you've done with WorldCoin and find out a lot more information about you. So another big issue is centralization. So the orb is a hardware device, okay? And there's no way to verify that it was constructed correctly and does not have back doors. So basically, if you have something that's going to scan your eyeball, it's a complete black box. Like you could reverse engineer this thing and like maybe try to look into it, but you don't know for sure if somebody else can't get into it, whether it's, you know, the creators of WorldCoin themselves. I'm not saying that they're necessarily going to use their power for nefarious purposes, but even if they have a centralized back door with their operation, again, what if a hacker is able to access things through that back door? Then there's so many possible things that it could do like create, you know, arbitrary human identities. If somebody could hack into it, they could just start creating new eyeball scans without an eyeball actually being present on the other side. And then you could create an entire nation of fake people to completely game the WorldCoin system. All right, the last major concern is one of security. So basically, you know, users' phones could be hacked. Users could be coerced into scanning their irises while showing a public key that belongs to someone else. So basically, somebody comes up to you and threatens you with physical force and that you could still just scan their eyeball and make them do something on behalf of them in this, you know, violently coerced way. You could also do things like 3D print fake people's eyeballs. Like if you have this device and you know what it's looking for whenever it scans an iris, okay, you could basically just 3D print an iris that would satisfy the scanner and generate new unique human inputs. And then they could get world IDs and then you could basically just 3D print fake people. And so those are some of the chief like technical concerns that you know arise with this implementation for WorldCoin. But even like a lot of people, if they don't understand those things behind the scenes or they haven't watched a video like this or like read Vitalik's blog, maybe, maybe they don't even know who Vitalik is. Then a lot of just average people, okay, I think it would be very split on looking at this device, okay? Seeing this massive orb that's just supposed to just scan your eyeball and you're supposed to just walk up to it and put your eye to it. That's gonna not really pass the smell test for a lot of people. That being said, it will for lots of other people because, I mean, hey, if they think they're getting free money out of it, lots will do just about anything for free money. And that could be the type of appeal that actually gets something like this to take off, uh, combined with a coin that could be appreciating in price. You know, if we come back into a, another crypto bull market relatively soon on the grand scheme of things, again, not financial advice, nobody's got a crystal ball to actually you know the information. You know, combined with the tailwind of, you know, Sam being basically the CEO of ChatGPT, and being one of the masterminds behind this project, that association can have a huge you know, push on something like this. Again, combined with their solution to a potential problem coming down the road with AI that I think is going to be top of mind for a lot of people, combined with the idea of universal basic income or UBI, which is also a hot thing that's trying to get implemented in many different places. So this could be the perfect storm for lots of different things to actually gain some significant traction. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think WorldCoin's actually going to get traction? Do you think people are actually going to walk up to these balls and start scanning their eyeballs like this? And if we do, do you think that we are in for a dystopian future for this specific project? What do you think about WorldCoin? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know down in the comment section below. All right, so that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people learn about blockchain. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to hit the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp Diversity.